when we need a vacation, no ordinary spot will do. We want sparkling waters, beautiful beaches, and plenty of stuff to do. So we went to Key Calker, off the coast of Belize. This tropical paradise has enough fun and sun to fill several days. And we're gonna take you on a wild ride in sickness and in health around the whole place. So grab your swimsuits and let's dive in. Getting out to Key Calker is pretty easy. After flying into Belize City, we took the ferry out to Key Calker. $20 buys you a round trip ticket and the boats run on a regular schedule every day out to the island and back. But the line can be pretty long, so arriving early is probably your best bet. We are on Key Calker. Made it. Once we were on the island, our first stop was the nearest bar. The good news is there are literally dozens on the island, each with their own theme or atmosphere, and each are worth visiting. Drinks in hand, it was time for us to unwind. We're in Key Conquer, and this is awesome. We're getting some drinks in us. As you can tell I've already managed to spill it all over myself. And uh, this place is amazing. We've been here less than an hour. We're having a blast already. Come in here, Tim. Yeah, Cheers. buddy. I'll admit, most of our first day was spent partying. It was our vacation after all, but the next morning, it was time to hit the water. All right guys, we are here. It's day one on KP Culker. We're doing caveman snorkeling tours, and um, we are a little hungover. We had a good time last night, and uh, we're gonna spend five hours out on the ocean today, so that's gonna be fun and a hungover stay. We're gonna see what we can get into and see some marine life. There are quite a few companies here willing to take you out onto the reef, but we chose Caveman Tours as our guide for the day. And they took us to several spots around the island. Getting to snorkel among the marine life that live around the coral was especially cool. I mean, check out this huge moray we saw down there. There's just no telling what you'll find on your trip. From there, we got to dive in with nurse sharks as they fed by the boat. They circled around for several minutes, not really caring whether we were there or not. They were there for the food. Once that was all gone, off they went, back out into the open water. Up on the boat, it was tarpon feeding time. Tarpon are massive silver fish that live just off the coast, and they will eat just about anything shiny that gets draped over the side. And I do mean anything. Yep, one of those fish came up and snatched the camera and it floated down to the bottom of the ocean. Luckily, it was just shallow enough for our incredible guide to dive down and get it, quite literally saving the day for us. Because without him, all of this awesome footage would have been lost. Oh my God, hey, thank you. <laughs> After we got back on land, Tim and I parted ways to get dinner. But when Tim got home, I knew immediately that something was not right. Hey Tim, what, what, why don't you tell me what's going on in there? <laughs> well, uh, just so anybody that might be interested might know, <laughs> what we're dealing with. <laughs> I went out and got some food by myself. I got grilled lobster. That was good. I ate a salad. I don't think that was so good. And what are you doing now? It's coming out of both ends, Michael. <laughs> What's that? It's coming out of both ends. <laughs> So we got we got a sick puppy here. Oh, I do not feel great, ladies and gentlemen. That we, is for Drew. We are on our way to the clinic right now to take care of Tim. See if we can fix him up. Nobody likes to get sick on vacation, but it does happen. How do I look back there? <laughs> Everything good? And it's nice to know that there's a clinic on the island to turn to if the same thing should happen to you. A few hours later, he was back on his feet and we were able to head home. We are leaving the clinic. Oh, you feel better? I do, I'm still holding my water bottle like a baby. But uh, I feel better than I did when we taxied over, that's for damn sure. 
Oh, I just want to let you guys man. know. I felt pretty horrible for filming and <laughs> laughing at all of it. <laughs> I just want everyone to know I gave him my express and direct permission to do so. We made ourselves a promise when we started doing this several trips ago that we would film all of the horrible parts. And it's kind of hard not to, uh, to Take laugh. Take my word. To laugh at some of it, yes. So yeah. I was filming with consent. Yes. Definitely doesn't mean that I didn't care. I did. I got. I. I I'm I just. I'm happy. Him. I'm just happy my buddy's all right. The next morning, as I was nursing a hangover, Tim went back to Cape Man Tours to get some final thoughts about Key Calker. The Cape Man have one good thing when you come into Key Calker. Right here, we, we always say welcome to the island of love, respect, and safety. Right. In Kikaka, you say go slow, but the caveman say one thing more different from going slow. You go even slower. You're on vacation. Leave all the stress behind. Let's have a wonderful time. Come to Belize and Kikaka. So with Mike now being the one who's out sick, let me see if I can put together some appropriate final thoughts here before we close out the video. Uh, Kikaka has been <laughs> nothing short of wonderful. Uh, the island itself is pretty well self-contained. I mean, you don't have to leave the island to get anything that you need. And I think I speak for Mike when I say that this is truly one of the most amazing places that we've gotten the chance to visit. I hope you've enjoyed getting to share our memories with you because boy, do we love making them. And please share this video with your friends if you did. Uh, follow us on all of our social media accounts and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It really helps us out here on the channel. Thank you so much for watching. Travel safe and have a great week. Well, <laughs> tell us what happened. Uh, I'm pretty sure that the grilled lobster and salad that I had was not oh, uh, great. And unfortunately, it caused me to get a nasty bout of uh, 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 the pukey turds, as I like to call it. <laughs> and uh, well, now that that is all done, I think it's time for me to get some well-deserved sleep. No, we can't let you do that. I have to to keep you up and film you. No, please, God, no. I have to keep him up and film. See here, why Tim's been getting shots and IVs. I've been getting drunk. Haven't I, give you, haven't I given you enough content from my misery? No, I will draw every last bit of content from haven't this. Haven't I already vomited out enough? And I am still drinking. Oh, love it. I hate it. Good night.